Hey guys, I'm going to, before I take my walk, this is my favorite park to walk in Colts Neck, I wanted to address a couple of questions regarding blood pressure and resting heart rate. Because that group started, we did that group, and you guys can now see everybody's resting heart rate, heart rate variability, um, recovery scores. But the things that are standing out are resting heart rate. A lot of you had questions about why is your resting heart rate so much higher than mine or whatever. So <clears throat> the other thing is blood pressure. Let me start with blood pressure. I've talked a lot about blood pressure in the past. Remember guys, blood pressure, you wanna think of it like, like water in a hose, right? So if, the, if the, the bigger the hose, the more pressure you have to put through it. So similar in order to get water from point A to point B. So similarly, if the, the bigger the body, the more pressure your heart needs to pump, right? So if you're 250, 260, 270 pounds, your blood pressure is gonna be higher because you're asking more of the heart to move that blood throughout your body. It makes sense, right? The other reasons why blood pressure can be high, because your blood is thicker. Why is blood thicker? You're dehydrated or there's, uh, you're, you've been, um, type two diabetic for a long period of time, meaning your blood sugar is elevated, or you have things going on in the blood that are toxic. I mean, blood gets thick when it's toxic blood. And that's not to uh, scare anybody. When I say toxic, I mean, something's going on that, that you need to diagnose. And those things could be many. Um, so, <clears throat> and it could be something going on with your organs themselves, meaning your kidneys. A lot of people are quick to jump on the salt bandwagon. Again, I'll say this, one last time, I encourage you to do your due diligence and look at how little salt um, moves blood pressure, guys. Salt is actually really important. Uh, it is an electrolyte. It is the balance of salt that matters, meaning compared to your potassium, your magnesium, your sodium, calcium, all these things have a natural balance in the cell. Your body does an amazing job at balancing these things. When these things get out of whack, it's, it's concerning because Biologically, cells have evolved in order to keep uh, these ratios tight, very tightly regulated um, intracellularly. So uh, salt affects about one third of the population. And, and in that third, you only see your systolic and diastolic uh, blood pressure move about 1%, guys. So it's not the salt that's causing your blood pressure to elevate. There, then the final thing is your, your parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system. Okay, so people that have chronically high blood pressure likely have issues going on with their HRV, meaning they're, they, they, they're way too sympathetic all the time. They're, the, they're running from the lion all of the time. So some of that is emotional stress where they can't calm down. But guys, remember what I told you about breathing? If you're breathing into your chest all the time instead of your diaphragm, your brain doesn't know the difference, right? So diaphragmic breathing just... <laughs> Just do it. Okay, you don't you don't have to take my word for it, guys. Like everything that I say, I want you to just test it and see what happens. When you breathe diaphragmically, watch what happens to your heart rate. Watch what happens to your blood pressure. Try it now. Try it. If you have high blood pressure, go ahead. Just sit down and do 10 minutes of the breath work that I showed you guys for 40 days on, on how to do that. And then take your blood pressure. Tell me how many points your blood pressure dropped. Go ahead. Okay, guys, these are things that when you go to the doctor, they're not going to talk about. It's just, it's it's not that it's secret. It's just that honestly, they know you're not going to do it. And that's that's the shame of it is that you go to the doctor and you're like, okay, my blood pressure is high. It's their job to quote unquote treat you. They're going to treat you with medication because if you drop dead of a heart attack, they're going to sue the doctor. You're going to sue the doctor because he didn't medicate you. Wouldn't you rather understand how the body actually works? And you know, if, if you recognize why blood pressure is high um, and, and then you can do things about it and you can put into your life these very simple um, steps along the way to correct what's wrong, you don't have to be on beta blockers. You don't have to do things to artificially inhibit your sympathetic nervous system. So along that line, it has to, we, we were talking about resting heart rate, and these are some of the same things. So guys, think about it. My resting heart rate 
is normally around 45, 44 to 45. And that's, you know, on average. When you look at my average, I, I wear this thing. I haven't taken this thing off uh, very much. I think I've, I have taken it off just a couple of times for a few hours. And honestly, the reason why I took it off is because I didn't realize this little trick about charging it. Like you can just leave it on your wrist and then slide it on and just push it and it'll charge for you. You see those white lights? Now you know it's charging. I didn't realize you could do that. That was the only reason why I had it off. Um, so the average of my resting heart rate is around 44, 45. This past week, it's been around 47. But a lot of the same variables are the same. You only get so many heartbeats in your life. So if somebody's heart rate is, let's say 45 and, and the 45 and somebody else's is, let's say 67, 68, that's 50% more heartbeats that they're beating in a lifetime. That's a lot. So if I'm at 45 and somebody else is at like 67, 68, which isn't bad, but that's 50% more heartbeats in their life so far. So meaning they're demanding more from the heart. What you want to do, guys, is demand as little. You want the heart to be strong and efficient. That's the key, strong and efficient. Less heartbeats, and when it does pump, it pumps the right amount of blood, meaning your blood pressure is lower and efficient. All right, makes sense, guys? All right, so make sure you, you know, you're getting your electrolytes. That means that you're eating all the foods that we've talked about, You know, your fruits, your vegetables, your proteins. Um, you can salt your foods to taste. You don't have to go crazy with salt, but salt your food to taste, but make sure that you're properly hydrated. Super important. Make sure that you get enough sleep. Make sure that you maintain a healthy body weight. Make sure that you do your breath work and understand the, the importance of moving your body and exercise and um, the parasympathetic nervous system, all these things that we've been going into. All right, so hopefully that answers your questions. Guys, have a great rest of the day.